know, how do, how do we create a more innovative culture in our company? But the truth is, I mean, you've all heard the saying that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. And I think for all of us, um, we have to ask, if we want something different for our company, for our industry, how do we have to change? We can't be the same person or else we will get the same results. For me, this really comes down to three things that I'd like to talk with you today about. It's um, a three, basically a three-step process that I, I discuss in my book, Reinventing You. First, it starts with discovering your own brand. How are you currently perceived by others? What's the, the sort of ground truth of the situation? Next is closing the gap. How do we get between where we are now and where we want to be? How do we articulate that vision? And third, and most importantly, is living out your brand. How do you, in your day-to-day -day life, uh, manifest who you want to be? Because sometimes, you know, people say, well, oh yeah, personal brand, I got it. You know, that's, that's just your elevator pitch. But it is everything more than an elevator pitch. An elevator pitch is, you know, a couple of sentences, that's fantastic. Your brand is who you are. It's how you're perceived by others. It's how you dress. It's how you speak. It is the leadership activities you participate in. It's what people see about you when they Google you online. It's the way that you interact with your peers, with your, uh, with your subordinates. It's everything. And so your brand is not what you say it is. It's what you manifest to the world.